We've seen how to write data into a text file, but how do we get data out? This is the data I wrote into the file previously. Let's see if we can extract something from it. Before I begin, there's a couple of things you should be aware of when it comes to text files. When you type up a text file, using Notepad for example, when you press Enter at the end of a line, you're actually inserting the invisible carriage return and line feed markers, or CRLF. These are actually ASCII codes 13 and 10. The same applies when you programmatically write a line of text into a text file. This is relevant from a programmer's perspective because, as you will see, you can programmatically fetch one line of text at a time into your program. Also, from a programmer's perspective, it's useful to imagine that a text file has an end of file marker as well, or an EOF marker. In reality, this is something of a myth. There is no end of file marker. Most operating systems can work out where the end of a file is because they know the exact length in bytes of a file's contents. So let's put this to use. Here's my program. I've declared a couple of variables, one to hold the path and the name of the file, just as before, and another string variable called data item. And I'm going to fetch each data item into this. I'm initializing the variable with the path and the name of my file, and then I use the open command. This time I'm saying open for input. I'm going to input data into my program. Again, I have a file handle. I say input from file number one, and then the variable which is going to hold that item of data, which I'm then outputting using a simple message box. Let's see what happens. One piece of data, that's it. Now what I really want to do is scan through the file and examine each piece of data. So I'm going to do this using a do loop. Do until end of file number one equals true. And then enclose that inside a loop. Let's just indent those lines for readability. And what I'm expecting this to do then is to scan through the file and examine each item of data in turn. It will keep doing so until the end of the file is true. So what do we get this time? You can see we're examining each piece of data. My program is looking for the commas which separate these items of data. Another way I can ask the same question for my loop is to say do while not end of file. That's effectively asking the same question. And you can see it still works.